Greetings once again, heroes and villains out there. Dudes, dudes, then back again with My Hero Academia. Where in the previous chapter, we finally found out what happened to Eraserhead and Present Mike when they were whisked away by Kuragiri. Where they had again had a confrontation, where Present Mike had all but given up on their friend, Shirakumo, still existing within the being. But Eraser could still see it. That spark. Of Shirakumo. Having gotten through to the echo of their friend, Eraserhead went on a recruiting spree, returning to the UA shelter as well as several other places across the battlefield, finding any and all who were still able to fight, or at the very least willing, to jump into the fray. They even helped to wrap up a battle that was still going on against the villain, Gashly, meaning that all that was left was all for one. And, though Eerie knew she was unable to join in the battle, she went as far as to rip off her very horn, hoping that it could be used to help Deku, using it to help regenerate Deku's missing arm, although they were still in a pretty bad state. And so, hero after hero arrived on the scene, including Mineta, Kaminari, Yaoyorozu, Shoji, and Koda. How many more heroes will arrive in order to stop one all for one yet again? Well, time will tell, but will it be enough? It already took so much down to take down his previous body, yet here he is again, time to teach the old man one more lesson, shall we? All the kids of class 1A who are present speak up. Hiroshima says, funny bumping into you dudes here. Shoji tells him, right back at ya. Koda, with determination in his eyes, says, the police ask for anyone who can still fight. While Mina says, we heard Aizawa Sensei managed to win over Kurigiri. Aoyama and Higakure stand strong. Well, Kaminari, whose brain is still a little fried, says, when we saw our pal keeping up the good fight, Momo finishes questioning how could we possibly not take action. Sue says, whatever it takes, as long as I'm still conscious. Hiro says, already came this far for victory, and she lost one of her earphones. Mineta says, imagine not taking a real stand here, or even dream of being a hero then, what would be the point? And Deku looks back saying, you guys. <laughs> No, oh, that's so badass. My Hero Academia, number 421. We are here. And you see the kids from Class 1B arrive. Death Arms, Gang Orca, Gentle, the kids from Shiketsu. And they say, we are here. Ugh, oh, that is such a good two-page spread. And as the forces of heroism arrive one after another, they all assemble to battle against All For One. All For One thinks to himself, as an integrated part of Tomura, I should have shattered the pieces along with him. However, when I heard the sound of Yuichi breaking into nothing, all the color faded from my world. Oh, huh. Ah, so it was the loss of his brother's last embers that kind of, you know, spurred him into action. Ah, so even with loss for him, he kind of was jolted into awakening. All for one tells the mass of heroes, saying, An array of dull ashen flesh. My obsession gone. Only a gaping hole of loss remained, a chasm no attack could strike, which allowed me to evade the death blow. Ah, it was because his brother wasn't there that he wasn't gone too, along with Tomura. All for one rises in the air saying, Izuku Midoriya, I now realize that tragedy and engenders true strength. Don't you agree? He says as he starts to form a mass of distorted and twisted flesh and spikes from his body. God! And Horikoshi just been going so hard with the art every chance he gets. And Sero speaks up saying, yeah, I don't know. Unlike some of you, my life wasn't full of wild highs and tragic lows. All I had to push me forward was l like not wanting to fall behind on the next practical exam or whatever. He then races for it saying, and you know, there's been some tough times for him. The guy used to look all zonked out and empty. Oh, nice. Two portals appear on both sides of All For One as Shoto and Endeavor leap through, ready to fight. Sarah dispenses his tape saying, anyone be better off not going through all that miserable, tragic crap. 
<laughs> and Shoto and Endeavor both use flash fire fists, engulfing all for one in flames. And they remembered Natsuo's words as T Ray and Fumi were being carted off by the recovery robots. As he said, Get over to Recovery Girl quick. She's been tending to the injured all day. Healing anyone else might be beyond her at this point. Don't stick around here. Mom and Fumi have had enough heat for one day. Get going, assuming you got any strength left at all. Saro then pulls Endeavor and Sh to Shoto out of the fray. As he says, I mean, right? Those thoughts crossed my mind when I heard you beat Dobby. And he remembers back when they were still fighting, hearing about what Shoto had done. Next, President Mike pops out of a portal, telling Shirakumu, Kirig Kuragiri, whatever he is at this point. Thanks, bud. All able bodies are assembled. And he calls out, Today marks the turning point, folks. One last big job. As everyone rushes towards All for One, as he stood can be used to spiral out a mass of tendrils just sweeping across the battlefield. He then lifts his arm as something starts to charge. As he says, Beholding a legion of wounded, desperate heroes, I feel nothing only forlorn. You cut-rate heroes, mere afterthoughts compared to all might. But suddenly something redirects his arm. Ah, it's 13 riding on the back of Hound Dog, using her black hole in order to divert All for One's attack. In comes Gang Orca, using his telepathy, and Seiji lashing out with his abilities. But All for One simply says, dust to sweep away. Burning calls out, divert his attack! Is that Bubble Girl? Nah, nah, I don't think so. As All For One just lashes out in any way he can with his tendrils. Burning calls out, too fast. Dealing with just one of his moves takes dozens of us. We ain't fighting on even terms. Kendo calls out, don't let him split us up. Fight back as, cohesi as a cohesive unit. Deku tries to get out saying, I have to join them. But he can't seem to move as he falls back down. He thinks, oh, my body. As I attends to him saying, you only made it out a few minutes ago, and up until you lost your arms, you were fighting non-stop. Those injuries haven't gone away. As Deku thinks back to everything he's experienced. Like, it's just like, yeah, you just got back your arms. Everything else is like, nah, son. And even then, his arms look like, ugh. Aizawa says, the damage from that brutal, drawn-out battle. But Deku says, I gave up one for all. Much to the shock of Aizawa. He says, it's gone? Deku says the quirks from each wielder, yet I might not have had it for long, but it's taken root in my quirkless self. That's right, even though All Might passed it on, he still had it. Deku says, so just like it was for All Might, the embers still in me. Yeah, baby. Just like All Might, fight until the flame burns out. As long as I've got that ember, all for one's got me to deal with. As I calls out to Deku and says, medicine bandages and here, can have you get in the cold. Uh, he pulls out the shirt, which is ironic because it's from the dude who was fighting the hardest not to have Deku go to UA. As I tells him, all courtesy of the refugees. Deku looks at the shirt saying, the men's non-no brand series 5 one size t-shirt. God, Deku even now. Uh, Ayama takes his hand, saying, Let us run. We have need of your strength, just as you need ours. Uh, and he re Deku remembers when he told Ayama, Take my hand. And Deku grits his teeth. Ugh. I'm getting all emotional. I swear to God, I'm getting all emotional. The people in the shelter call out, You can do it. We all fight at your side. The kid who railed against Deku before calls out, Eerie. Calls out. Koda calls out. Let's go, Midoriya. Gran Torino calls out. The look and see kid and his friends all watch. Deku steps forward, racing into the action. Everyone's hopes and dreams call out to him, saying, You can do it. Oh, I swear to God, I even after all this time, I can still get so emotional. You know, whatever anyone says about this series, I still love it. I still love it. Regardless of any gripes I've had, the fact that I could still be hit by this moment. A hero, despite everything, racing into action to do the best he can. Damn, that's goddamn inspirational. Ugh, this is gonna kill me in the anime. I, ooh, if they play You Say Run at this moment 
in the anime, I will friggin' just ball my eyes out. Like, the fact that this moment hit me like this, the anime is gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me, and I'm so ready for it. <clears throat> the next step of the anime is almost here. We're about to enter into this battle in the anime, and oh, knowing where everything ends up, just, ugh, I'm a sap. I'm a sap for stuff like this, and I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Just the outstretched hands, the doing what you can, even though it doesn't seem like you might be able to do much, but that's what Deku was doing from the start, and I love that we have continued on with that theme. It is immaculate in my mind. If you have a difference of opinion, I respect it. I understand it. Believe me, I get it. But for me, this is everything. This is everything. This manga is hitting all the beats I needed it to hit. And honestly, it, I continue to say it, it is just a straight shot to a great finale. Between Horikoshi's art, the direction that he's throwing things in, it feels like he knows what he's doing, what he wants to do, where he's leading things. He is like he knew the emotional beats he wanted to hit, and this is just nailing it for me. I don't need any massive losses. I don't need any just tragic moments. The biggest tragedy could honestly just be Deku not having all for one, not being powerless in the end. And I would, that could be it. Nobody could die. Nobody could suffer any more losses. That could be it. And I would still be satisfied with it. For me personally. Because, god damn. Th this is it. This, this is it. Again, I keep saying it. Horikoshi, you got me. You got me. Anyone else, it's whatever. But you got me. I am fully invested in this moment. Bring it home. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I've been Deez Diz Din. And I hope to see you later. Till then, bye bye.